Hello, everyone! RPG Kingdom Kid here with a new Let's Play, technically, of Triangle Strategy. And as you see there, it says the prologue demo. That's because, much like the Monarch demo, this is the demo for the prologue, and I think also chapter one or something like that. I can't remember how far it is, but it's a pretty far chapter uh, length that we have. Um, and you're probably curious, like, wait, why are you playing this and not Monarch? Well, because GameStop's being fucking dumb with my Monarch copy, and there's a shipping issue, so that's taking fucking forever. I haven't gotten it yet. So the good news is, like, hey, Triangle Strategy has a prologue demo where I can play, you know, some of the story bits leading up to. I, I can't remember if it's chapter three or something like that, so hopefully I get Monarch soon because Arceus is also be wrapping up soon, but I digress. But anyway, guys, I hope you are. I'm excited for this. I'm very excited for Triangle Strategy. I did play the, like, the first demo that came out months ago. And I, I liked it a lot. Um, I definitely need to learn more about the combat stuff, but I really do like this a lot. So let's just get, yeah, let's look at the options first, I suppose. Uh, might as well have them be on normal. I see nothing wrong with that. Cameras can probably be fine battle. Uh, I'm gonna just assume, it. let's just have everything as is. Let's have the voices up just a little bit higher than everything else. Alright, new game. Thank you for your download. This is a pre-release version that comprises chapters 1 through 3 of the main server. Okay, there we go. Uh, save data can be carried over to the full game. Units level in the demo cap at 5. Fuck, that sucks. Bows will, that will challenge your convictions await you in the realm of Norzelia. Hope you enjoy the game. Uh, let's just go on normal for now. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolfort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Alrighty. Hey, why? Please hide Lord this. Sarnoff? I don't want that. But ZR is the button. Okay. There we are. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Is it the vetting? The vetting? Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Serenoa. So, 
You were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. <laughs> I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. That's true. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Wolfort, I must rise to the occasion. So what I'm actually very interested about with this game is the length of it. I'm interested in how long this game is because of like so many possibilities that there are in terms of outcomes and everything of like how it is because like every major there's going to be like every major decision could lead the story in a different path than what it was prior so that has me like curious and it depends on how long it is that also might affect how long this playthrough is as well but then again we also have ghostwire tokyo kirby um final fantasy origins coming out in march so yeah it's it's gonna be a crazy month and i think there's one more too uh Ah, I, I think I'm thinking of Ch Chocobo GP, but that's a game I wouldn't play uh, as a series. I might That might be like a one-off video type thing. We'll see, but yeah. Fine resolve, my lord. As house steward, I will do all in my power to assist. But I'm going to try my best to get like a Thank decently you, good Benedict. ending my first time around it here. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon. I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then. Let us be on our way. Okay. I just hope, like, if you guys remember... Then again, I also did stupid shit in the demo as well, like, the first time around. I hope that the game, the combat of this is a little more balanced. It didn't feel too balanced the first time around in that bit, so. Selecting event markers on the map will advance the story. There are two types of events, main and sub. Main events are crucial to the plot, while sub events are entirely optional, but will disappear from the map as the story progresses. Okay. So I think that markers on the map will advance the story. Yeah, I, I just read that. Oh. Just a, roster, inventory, war, chronicle, and system has been added to the main menu. Okay. Press the X button to open the main menu where you can view your units, prepare for battle, adjust various game settings, and more. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. This game uses an autosave feature. However, there is only one autosave slot. You may save manually or create additional save data files at any time by selecting System Save from the main menu. You cannot save normal during battle, but quick save data is created at regular intervals. You can manually create quick save data by selecting system quick save. Quick save data will be deleted once loaded. Okay. Is there a way I can like zoom out the map? Yeah, there we are. Just want to make sure I don't get rid of any of the side stuff. Who's all my roster so far? Just my boys? Okay. Inventory? Okay. Roll, roll, Broncos, path travel. The screen will allow you to view a summary of the story so far. Okay. System. Okay. Oh shit, I was gonna read the thing out of the corner there. Oh well. Oh, excuse me.
I thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. Yeah, this is definitely happening way you, before any of the events of that first demo. I shan't let you down. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Rosellen heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. Shabbers. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. All right, battle time. Do we get these two on our two other guys, or is it just these two girls? Nope, our guys will be there too. Ah. We're at level two. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get at a higher level if I... Shortly after their arrival, Frederick and Galia are, are waylaid by bandits. Meanwhile, Serena makes his way to the harbor. The harbor. Maybe I should have saved first before I did that. No, well... That's what I used to do before every single major battle is always saved, so then I could fucking like grind and if need be and What do you intend to do with us? Make our little hostages is all. And ring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from High Sand. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of us frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Yeah. Well, that's one less. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? Rosella had three major guy and convinced prevail. Utility, morality, and liberty. These take the form of invisible parameters that are influenced by your choices you make throughout the game. Your decisions will shape Sarano's convictions, as well as influence which companions may choose to go as cause. Oh. Who are you exactly? A band of common brigands from the look of it. You need to know who. Surrender now, we can resolve this peacefully. 
Me two bears striking resemblance going to be fun. Ah, this one. You need to know who. Surrender now, and we can resolve this peacefully. Do you even know who you're talking to, boy? <laughs> we don't do anything peacefully. Got that right. But if you surrender now, we'll spare your miserable lives. It appears they're not keen to listen. Indeed. They don't strike me as the type to be swayed by logic. Quit your whimpering and just accept you're done for. Once Travis, his daughter Trish, and their mighty crew set their sights on you, <laughs> ain't nothing you can do. Ah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plan! Two arms, my lord. Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I All ask right, for your yeah. support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rap. Unwavering support with a strategic edge. Aids comrades with various support abilities, alters their turn order and allies. Oh. Rodriguez aptitudes and battles. A pyromancer whose fire ignites chaos in the battlefield. Casts sweeping spells to assault multiple enemies. Can use fire spells to set flammable squires ablaze. Galil's aptitudes and battles. Bring balance to the battlefield with powerful healing magic. Specializes in HP recovery magic. Healing spells are even more effective on allies in moral danger. Makes sense. Can't remember the guy who's up there, but I, I know we had him in the in the first demo, so this is definitely going to be a... Uh, He's probably like a, uh, he's just a, uh, a guest, most likely. The battle begins. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. We can't auto this one. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Wolforth. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. In battle, positioning and turn order are two keys to victory. Attack from high ground, then that of your target deal increased damage. Uh, attacks from behind are guaranteed to score a critical hit. A mark will appear when you perform a back attack. The order in which units take actions is determined by their speed attribute. Upcoming turn orders displayed via the AT bar at the bottom of the screen. Oh shit. Ah, well. Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools the lot of you. Hope you're ready. Give them a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle and you receive your due reward. Right, I forgot it's not auto. Blue panels within movement range but, only, but out of enemy's range of attack. Purple panels within movement range and enemies range of attacks. Red line indicates enemies that attack the unit. Wow, I, I really wish they had this shit in the tutorial for the first demo. Red panels indicate your attack range. Yellow panels indicate the area of effect of the selected command. We do not take kindly to thievery here in Wolfort. You will pay for your crimes. Forward. Then you can choose which command to issue to select the unit is split into tabs, actions, and items. Use the L. And the actions tab, yep, TP. I said, but no, I want to. 
Ooh, that'd be way too many people coming to attack me. place for those who disregard the law. I shall try my level best. I have your back. Splendid. My turn. Zones and foes in straight line two squares. My lance strikes true. Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these ruffians. I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? These are no ordinary men. Do they not know who they are? Let us remain calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. Cool heads shall prevail. She doesn't really need it, but hey, I can keep fighting. She'll get experience, which is all that matters. So. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. Let me show you what I've learned. No. Shall we strike? My turn. It ends here. While enemies occasionally drop spoils, and an allies turn on the square containing the spoils to claim it. Enemies can also claim spoils, so beware. On rare occasions, enemies will drop small boxes containing ex exquisite spoils. Allies do not need to pick up these items, they are automatically acquired. Spoils cannot be used at the moment they are acquired. You must emerge victorious and see the spoils you have obtained and claim them as your own. All kinds of spoils will be lost when spell ends. Oh. That worked, huh? huh? 
When an enemy is struck by a physical attack, any allies on the opponent's side of that enemy will automatically perform a follow-up attack. Mark will appear if attacking the selected target will trigger a follow-up attack. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Damn it. No. Okay, I got it. Shall we begin? Your wounds are healed. Or at least get this him closer so that she can heal him. Allow me. Two ashes. Hope you're ready. This one will hurt. I have failed. Oh For the honor of Oh, wow, son of a bitch. This ends here. So you wanted to attack this time, but you didn't want to do a follow-up with the other one? I shall do what I can. Your wounds are healed. This will help. I will end this. My turn. From where oh, shall I get we strike? The start of every turn. This ends here. My stratagem is superior. Point me at him. Let me show you what I've learned. I have your back. Splendid. Let me heal your wounds. He's only down by six. Two, four. I'm only down by four. Okay. I might as well heal him. Be at ease. And I will this move will her away. From where shall we strike? Wait your turn. Hope you're ready. Heed 
There is no mercy on the battlefield. Now! That seemed to work. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. My utmost thanks. For the honor of House Wolfort. Grow. <laughs> Let me show you what I've learned. Coming through. <laughs> Maybe next time. There is no mercy on the battlefield. I have your back. Splendid. My knowledge grows deeper. I'll keep him here for now. Oh, Shall ah, we damn it. Yeah, she really needs it. Allow me. From where shall we strike? On your guard. Ha ha! Follow my lead. Point me at him. There's a I switch there, the and she's case. definitely wanting to pull that. Gotta get the upper hand. This one will hurt. Ah. Let us pry out their weakness. Your defense ah. is weak. You've left ah. yourself open. Ha ha. Shall we begin? He definitely needs a little more. I'm not. A... Thanks, man. I really hate that the Let guy died. Closer to our hope. Defeat is not an option. Here, <laughs> follow my lead. Damn it all! This can't be. Let me show you what I've learned. Two ashes. I see a path to victory. My turn. Shall we begin? Your wounds are healed. Now we should go help. a little bit faster, but I kind of understand why it's not. Forward! Fight for peace. Burn, motherfucker, burn, motherfucker, burn. Burn, motherfucker, burn, motherfucker, burn. I shall try my level best. 
Well, actually, hold on. I can do Raging Beast on himself, so. It is time to strike. Shall we begin? From where shall we strike? <laughs> I will end this. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's that Tome of Fire? Oh. Physical damage. Let us pry out their weakness. I shall do what I can. From where shall we strike? Ready for battle. Let me show you what I've learned. I shall try my level best. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. Much appreciated. I didn't want to look that way, but that's fine. Point me at him! I fight for peace. She's resistant Two to ashes. fire, huh? What? We will make our ideals reality. Let us pry out their weakness. I maybe I should have done this for the lady, but oh well. Let me heal your wounds. I mean, everyone's healed. No one needs to be your healed, but eh. You have my gratitude. From where shall we strike? Make way. Let me show you what I've learned. Get everyone up here. There is no mercy on the battlefield. All for victory. Our victory is assured. For the honor of House Wolfort. Shall prevail. Your wounds are healed. Much appreciated. <laughs> hm. 
I fight for peace. I shall try my level best. Oh shit, sure, I didn't get my turn there, but oh well. Wait your turn! Yeah. Let me heal your wounds. Might as well just do it because. Might as well just do it so you she gets experience. I will end this. With the powers in me. Oh no! Let us pry out their weakness. All for victory. Thank you. What a mess. <laughs> Defeat is not an option. Bye bye. Perry. You'll rue this day, you bastards. has been strengthened got some iron some large pet and uh, some coin too bad a uh, dumbass died literally within like his second turn but then again that was kind of my fault with the way I was playing with him should have done a little bit differently oh well wait I know that face that's the Walfort lordling what's that you say Walfort it can't be what are they doing here so damn soon? This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. For a bunch of no good thieves, at least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Your bride to be is safe. Isn't that what matters? My bride to be. My sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Your Highness! Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. Yeah, hopefully maybe this time you won't fucking die like a goddamn jobber his ring bore the insignia of glenbrook's royal family could that have been 
Oh. Why did they get rid of the auto when it's literally it was a fade Prince of Rome, black? King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed is the martial prowess of the Wolforts. It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Uh-huh. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. Man, with the way they're saying, oh, in the demo, you're only limited to get to level 5. They make it sound like it's impossible to get level ups. But then again, we only did get, like, one level up in this. It all depends on, like, if you use skills and such. So I could definitely, okay, I could definitely see a way. It's like, okay, yeah, it's a little hard to get um level ups in this game. I can see that. I can definitely see that now. But, yeah, I have a feeling, like, level 5 shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. But, yeah. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Serenoa in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? If it is not too forward of me to say so, I find most beautiful. But I encourage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there on the battlefield. I think it nothing to be surprised about. We have Ro Roselli living in our very, in our very, dim, dim and zen. Oh boy. What do I want? Okay, some of these are a little tricky. I mean, I could say that. I could say this one as well, but I, I feel like this would be a... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you! I didn't want to pick that one! If it is not Well, I mean, it's not a bad one, so. but it's like, that's not the one I wanted to pick. I, I wanted to pick the bottom one. Beautiful. Thank you, my lord. But you need not flatter me. I said only what I mean. I have always been fond of roses, and your hair is as beautiful as any of them. I adore them too. Then it would seem we have something in common. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Rika and Galivi joined your forces. I want to say that third one, but eh. I mean, I guess that top one. Uh, if my controller falling and landing on a random option, out of all those, I'd rather it have been that one rather than the middle one, so. Bye, fucking jobber. Sarah Noah of Glenbrook's House Wolford and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? Gammon has been added to the main provisioners. You can now select the cabinet from the main menu to access the Wolfort army camps. Additional features will be unlocked as the story progresses. Okay, there we go. Now we got like an optional thing showing up there. Okay, I want to, uh, before we do anything, let me actually save. Okay. I want to see what's at the encampment. Hi, Vendition Lord Sir Noah, how do you do? This humble merchant has brought the finest selection of goods from across the realm. Please have a look. 
With a visionary, you can purchase items and accessories to sell and want items in your possession. You cannot reap the benefits of accessories simply by purchasing them, so remember to equip them to your ally of your choosing. This may be accomplished in the unit details screen, the inventory menu, or via the prompt that appears after purchasing the accessory. Oh boy, that shit's fucking required to rank weapons up, okay. Okay, can't really buy anything too useful. And it doesn't look like I have anyone else in here just quite yet, so... Actually, hold on, what's this? Nothing, okay. Alright, let's leave. Let's watch this. At William Castle, home of Glenbrook's royal family, preparations begin for a grand ceremony to commemorate a new age of harmony between the three nations. So let's watch the side stuff. There we are. Wherever did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. It would seem Prince Roland shrugged off the King's Guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. I swear it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. He is an embarrassment to our family. No matter. I will see to matters myself. Your honored guests have arrived, Your Highness. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Claris. But of course, Your Highness. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. If the rumors of her strength are true, she is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Heisend. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. It is a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. A general of the Grand Duchy and Heisend's young hope. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. I know this man, Sorsley End of Heisend, yes? Just so, my lord. As you doubtless know, he is the Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. So even the great monolith that is the Holy State is not immune to internal strife. Thank you, Clarus. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. A tournament? Your Highness, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. Ah, yes. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadolf's stead. Ah, yes, Gustadolf. Word has it that Lord Thallus has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. You need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. I love how everyone just stands there, like, oh, yes, we are getting our introductions. Let's all stand here and wait. Oh, okay, you're done. All righty, time to go. Oh, 
honored guests. I am Franny, Crown Prince of Franny. Britain. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves. Allow me to escort you to Whitehome Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, this is still fucking going. Damn. Prince Roland, finally you return. Hey, it's the thief girl. I remember her from the, the demo. Right. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolfort domain, was it? Indeed, on minor business. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. <laughs> you know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and Franny least of all. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? You act. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. So it is true that you plan to fight in the tourney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. How did you... His Grace told me. When he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. So Father knew all along. <laughs> and so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. As you wish. Alrighty. Well, guys, I think this is a good spot to end this part of Let's Play Triangle Strategy. And the next part, guys, we will... Continue on. Um, I'm going to keep going for as long as I can or until I get Monarch. Or, I guess, yeah, I'm going to keep going for as long as I can or um, either until I get Monarch or the full game of this comes out. And then we'll just continue on from there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button a click and comment down below what you like about the video. If you like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of... Uh, the first chapter here. I know we kind of fucked up with him dying in there, and that was kind of my fault, but yeah. I'm going to try my best to be a little more better. I hope there is at some point be like, oh, here are some camps that you can keep replaying over and over again in order to grind up your characters. I won't be surprised if that's only in the full game, though, so, but yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to the main channel, too, that's in the description below, as well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RG, Kim Kids, Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.